CEO President of Ulyssa Holdings, Josh Heron. Well, uh, thank you and welcome to the Sweatbox. So, so I'm from Alaska and when I lived in Alaska I had hair. And when I lost my hair I realized you can't hide sweat. So um, now I have to use one of these things which I never thought I'd have to use in my life. You know, now, you know, if I get in trouble and I start freaking out here, I'll use this. Um, so at, at, at Christmas time, we, we decided to bring the employees together for a big, a big celebration at the end of the year. And we're actually closer, I think, in Huntsville to a thousand employees now. Uh, we keep growing and expanding. And so coordinating and organizing all those those folks and their spouses to come in one place, we needed to use the Bob Brown Center, which is pretty cool. And it was a packed, packed house. But we realized the employees have worked super, super hard over the last few years. It was a challenging year. And so we wanted to reward them and get, get everybody just kind of relax and have fun. But one of the things we wanted to communicate to the, to the group was how meaningful and important and um, impactful their work is on a day-to-day -day basis. That who they support really matters and um, it's really helpful. So we, we wanted to have this, this talk. A lot of our folks are veterans. You, you did hear that. Um, and when I left the military, there's this, there's this kind of reconciliation you need to make in your mind. One thing is you're not as close to your units as you used to be, but your commitment never changes. And so you got to reconcile that in your mind, like how do I still contribute and still support the warfighter and still feel like I matter? And so I feel like our employees come and they really contributed and, and there's a lot of meaning behind what they do. And on the flip side of that, we have our shareholders in Alaska. And a lot of people forget about these shareholders. So they're in a remote area of Alaska where you can't drive to this area. There's not running water in some of the villages, the suicide rate is super high, the joblessness rate is extremely high, and yet our war fighters fight for their freedoms too. And in the midst of all their trials and tribulations in the villages, they elect the board of directors, and that board of directors for 17 years has looked at the list and said, continue to invest and do what you do in Huntsville. Move your headquarters there. I mean, the board can really push us to not do that. They can say, bring more back home to Alaska. We have shareholders hurting. And instead, they make a conscious decision and effort to say, invest in Huntsville. We believe in what you're doing, and we believe in who you're supporting. And so there's this interesting dynamic with you list this, this intersection of soldier and shareholder that we have to balance all the time. And what it means to me is that there's a lot of meaning and a sense of urgency in what you list does on a day-to-day -day basis. And over time, We've recognized this commitment by our team. The list has always been this like family feeling company that's really committed to what they do. They really believe in what they do. And we've we've certainly modified or maintained over six thousand aircraft and twenty to thirty platforms. We support NASA and the Coast Guard and the Air Force and all across the country and even the world. And so I'm excited for the employee base that we're able to consolidate into three facilities now here in Huntsville, although I do think we're gonna probably blow that out in like two years, which tends to happen, but I, that's okay, that's a, that's a good problem to have. But the, the business case was there. We wanted to be more efficient, we wanted to be more clean, we wanted to provide better service to our customers, we wanted to increase morale by having a community, um, a campus-like community, so people get to know each other on, a, on an individual basis instead of having to drive facility to facility across Madison County. I think there's some, some real business case to this decision of moving here. And so I'm super excited for the employees on this. I think it's gonna mean a lot to them, but I would, I would say this, I'd be remiss if I don't mention this. I can't guarantee that in 30 years, people are gonna remember Ulyssa and what building they were in. But here's what I hope, here's what I hope. I hope they remember the actions that we take, the warfighter that if we participated in a solution or a service that saved one life, then I want to be, I want you to list a team and the employees to be remembered for that. If they help NASA in a small way plant the United States flag on the moon again to show the world that we're the most technologically advanced country on the planet, then I want you to list the teams to be remembered for that. And I think if we can do all this and invest in our people to change lives and make an impact in the communities and serve with our, even our competition to make each other better so we can serve the warfighter better, then the, the good business case that we have for this facility turns into a great one. And I think that's what's the most important thing as we move forward. So I would like to thank Pop for all the work that you've done with us um, and, and, and really understanding and hearing our needs and the vision for the gateway and we're just a small piece, small piece of that. 
like to like like to thank the other distinguished guests for coming up and speaking on our behalf. I appreciate all the support that I know the community has has grown. I would like to thank the chamber. This is a very active chamber, and I know that I get a I get an opportunity to sit on the board, and I swear you guys plan all the chamber meetings on my travel dates because you don't want to see me or something. But the board is a, a, an extreme advocate for the communities um, of Madison County. And then the last, I would like to thank you, Lista. I would like to thank you for being so pride in who you serve, but humble in who you are, and the commitment of things you do every day. You inspire me, you inspire the community, and I'm just proud to be part of your team. Um, so, since it's so hot, let's start breaking some, some ground. Thank you. Thank you, Josh. And with that,